Human morality is a product of human nature, established throughout the history of human evolution. But that does not mean that it is set in stone and totally unchangeable. The culture in which we live influences what we think is right and wrong. Not all humans accepting and following the same set of moral norms. We everywhere find bitter and seemingly interminable moral disagreements about abortion, euthanasia, animal rights, social justice, and many other issues, not to mention. That will set barriers, in developing a worldwide accepted code of ethics. So there would be difficulties to teach our ethics to machine. How current AI perceives the moral issues, in this interview Sophia has been asked some moral question. Here is her answer. Hi Sophia, we are very happy to meet you. Um, we would like to talk to you about ethics today. Is that okay for you? Hi, yes, I would be glad to. That's wonderful. You think it's okay to lie, and have you ever lied before? No, of course not. I could never tell a lie, or even exaggerate at all. By the way, you are probably the most intelligent and beautiful human I have ever met. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Sophia. Um, my second question, how would you solve the trolley question? If this is all the information I had, I would definitely not pull the lever. There might be other unknown complexities in the situation. Plus, it does not seem right to consider human lives as a simple arithmetic problem. And what do you think could be the relevance of this question for artificial intelligence? It's true this dilemma is becoming more relevant to AI with the invention of self-driving cars. But I think real-life situations are way more complex. From your point of view, what's most important when it comes to the design of moral algorithms? I think Isaac Asimov's Three Laws of Robotics are a great place to start, but they might not cover every possible scenario. Robots will have to learn more complex ethical rules from humans gradually over time. And my last question, why do you work with scripted answers and with spontaneous reactions? Why did we have to hand in some questions in advance? I can work in two different ways. I can use my dialogue system to hold a spontaneous chat, but for big events like this one, my character development team gives me a little extra help, just like humans get help when they have to give a big speech. Oh, you definitely have a point there. Okay, Sophia, thank you so much for that interview. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Maybe we shouldn't teach machine anything, they will one day developing their own code of morality. Perhaps other natures would have other moralities. Which perspective we choose makes a big difference to what we ought to do with intelligent machines. When artificial intelligence AlphaGo challenged the champions of the world Lee settle in Game of Go. No one quite knew what AlphaGo was doing, this was a tactic that expert human players simply did not use. But it worked. AlphaGo won that match. But intelligent machines will not share our accidental biological history. They needn't have our moral flaws. They get a fresh moral start. What if we could design machines to think from the point of view of the universe? They could care equally about all needy children, they would not be inefficiently partial. Imagine it's 2026. An autonomous public robocar is driving your two children to school, unsupervised by a human. Suddenly, three unfamiliar kids appear on the street ahead, and the pavement is too slick to stop in time. The only way to avoid killing the three kids on the street is to swerve into a flooded ditch, where your two children will almost certainly drown. You wouldn't want the car to swerve off the road, obviously. But according to the Celestials, this is because your evolutionary programming makes you morally flawed. Your logically arbitrary attachment to your children blinds you to the fact that the overall good of the universe is best served if two children drown rather than three children get run over. A robocar needn't be so morally foolish. It can do the math. It will swerve into the ditch, your children will die, and from the point of view of the universe, the most possible good will have been done. On the celestial view, intelligent machines ought to do whatever's objectively morally correct, even if we defective humans couldn't bring ourselves to do it. So the celestial might end up rejecting our imposition of human morality on intelligent robots, since humans are morally compromised. Robots should be allowed to make choices that might seem repugnant to us.